Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Ferris State women's soccer team is currently in action this season, and with us today is head coach Matt Kellogg of the Bulldog women's soccer team. Coach, uh, thanks for being with us here today. Thanks for having me, Rob. You've had a couple tough matches to start the year down in Indianapolis against both Indianapolis and Drury, but you came back uh, and played a couple here at home this past weekend against Saginaw Valley State and Northwood, a win over Saginaw Valley, 3-1 to one on Friday. Talk a little bit about how your kids have bounced back after a, a tough weekend to start the year and getting a win over Saginaw Valley in your conference opener. Well, we knew it was going to be tough going down to Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis and Drury are both very good regional opponents. Uh, year in, year out, they're, they're a tough team. And they're also a veteran team. Uh, you know, this year we we're starting seven underclassmen uh, between freshmen and sophomores. So it, it, we knew we were going to take some lumps uh, in that opening weekend. But going into uh, conference play, that always kind of gets the gets the energy going, and uh, the girls were excited to play. And we had a good good week of training. We learned a lot from that opening weekend, and uh, you saw the results on Friday. You were tied one to one at half on Friday. Uh, talk about your your halftime speech and and what you guys did in the second half uh, to come back and, and win that one three to one. Well, we just talked to the girls about maintaining their composure uh, when they're on the ball and also communication. And we knew that it was just going to be uh, a matter of who wanted to work harder in the second half. Uh, you know, conference games they're always so close. Uh, you can't take any of them for granted. So you know, clearly we came out in the second half and and we just outworked Saginaw. We had some highlights of uh, that game on, on Friday against Saginaw Valley. Uh, Bree Boardman, a senior for you, had a, had a nice day with a couple goals and, and an assist as well. Yeah, it was nice for her to kind of get the ball rolling for the season, uh, come out strong in conference play. Uh, last year she didn't get any accolades in terms of uh, all-conference uh, awards, and I also think that kind of uh, uh, kept her motivated in the off season, and she came back really fit for us, uh, fittest I've ever seen her. And, uh, you know, I, I, I remind her from time to time that she didn't get all conference last year just to kind of keep that fire going in her. You uh, had another game on, uh, on Sunday against Northwood, a uh, second conference game, less than 48 hours. Talk about the, the quick turnaround time and having to come back and play again on Sunday. You know, that, that's going to be a tough thing for us uh, these next couple weekends. As, we, as I stated, we're a very young team on the field, uh, a lot of freshmen and sophomores who are still trying to figure out the, the energy that they're going to have to bring on Sunday. Uh, you know, this weekend it was kind of a, a, a bad break in the, the way the schedule fell for us. That Northwood came in a little bit more rested than, uh, than we were. But that's going to be something every, every week. It's Friday and Sunday, and with our young players, they're going to have to learn that uh, they got to dig a little deeper. It's not, you know, high school anymore where they get a couple days off between games and there's some cupcakes thrown in there as well. No, no cupcakes on our schedule. Talk about maybe how some of those kids have adjusted to the college level and here are four games under their belts and how, how they've adjusted so far. Well, you can start to see this weekend we kind of turned the corner with a lot of our uh, freshmen. They're starting to, to figure out the, the intensity every day in training, uh, no days off in training. Um, they're really coming along. You know, some of the ones that I've, I've really seen are, you know, Stephanie Garland. Uh, she got a goal in the uh, game on Friday for us at the end. Uh, to kind of seal the deal for us. She's really starting to come on and figure out the, the speed that she needs to play with. Uh, I'm looking for her. You know, Sam Kay is another attacking player for us. Uh, Taylor DeSico is coming off the bench for us. And, and she has really started to figure things out um, just in this last week. You can see her in training on Tuesday and Wednesday really starting to click in. You've got a big week uh, coming up this week. You uh, have a non-conference game against Madonna on Wednesday and then a, a big weekend uh, with uh, Michigan Tech, Northern Michigan coming uh, to Big Rapids. Uh, talk about what it takes to, to play that many games over that short of a time span. Well, luckily for us, we came in in, in pretty good shape this year. So our fitness, our base, everything's there. But, you know, this week it's just going to be mental, absolutely mentally. And we're going to have to balance our training time and make sure that the players are getting the rest and the recovery. Uh, but really, it's just going to come down to the players. And, and that's where you need that veteran leadership on your team from a Bree Borgman, a Kyla Spragans, or Casey Rumveld, you know, our three captains, to really make sure that they keep the girls focused and uh, the energy and the effort up there. Northern Michigan, a team that's been uh, pretty good over the years in terms of GLIAC uh, soccer play. Uh, Michigan Tech, uh, a second year program. Talk about what you know about both of those teams and, and what do you expect from those teams this weekend? Well, Northern Michigan, I mean, Matt Grandstand up there has done a fantastic job. I have the utmost respect for him and what he's been able to accomplish up there. You know, last year we tied them 
twice in, in regular season play, and we lost to them 4-3 in the conference quarterfinals. quarterfinals. And they're just, they're always organized, um, hardworking, and they don't stop until the final whistle. So for them, we got to be really ready to go to battle um, on Sunday with Michigan Tech. They're a young team, so we still don't know what they're all about, but I do know that they've done a great job recruiting and have a lot of talented players. So I just expect a, a, a great battle on Sunday as well. Your team was uh, picked third, uh, upper half of the GLIAC North Division. Uh, coming into your second year here, uh, do you like the direction the program's headed, and, and I guess what, uh, what, what do you expect uh, going down the road? Well, I'm, I'm very excited about how this team has really developed over the last uh, 12 months or so. Um, you know, the, the, the work rate, the mentality, we're really establishing a great culture here of just a blue-collar work rate. You know, and I, I keep preaching to, to the players that it's the process that we're after. If, if we get the process down, the results will come. And we're not a result-oriented group. We're process-oriented, and, and we're staying focused on that. It's a big weekend, as we mentioned, uh, with three games coming up this week at home. Uh, then you've got a long stretch where you're on the, on the road for over a month. Uh, how, how's that going to impact your team? That'll be, that'll be a little bit difficult, I think, towards the end, but I think it's also going to be kind of nice to get back on the road. Uh, fewer distractions. You know, it's, it's about us. There's, there's no friends. There's no noisy neighbors or anything like that. We're, we're a team. We're isolated. So I think that with this young group, it's actually going to be okay for us. It's also kind of exciting for the new, new players to get out on the road, stay in the hotels, you know, get on the buses, have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, but, you know, our staff, we're going to try and keep things light on the road because we know it can be a grind. Yeah, maybe a chance for, for some of those kids maybe to bond together a little bit more than you've had an opportunity to, to do so far. Yeah, exactly. You know, you come back from road trips and f for sure there's always, you know, inside jokes and funny stories that you can tell. Uh, so, so it's going to be a great opportunity for us to really get to know each other even better. In terms of what you've seen so far, what have been some of the biggest strengths at this point of the year? Uh, so far, the biggest strengths uh, have been our attack. We're, we're creating chances, and, and you can see, you know, on Friday we're starting to finish off a lot of those chances. Um, so I would say our attacking players are, are a little bit more dynamic than, than what we may have had in the past, and it's kind of bringing a whole new uh, level of play to our, to our team. Coach, I uh, appreciate you being here today, and best of luck. Uh, busy week, and then, and then a long stretch uh, when you're going to be on the road. Thank you, Rob. We'll be back with more... Ferris Sports Update after this, we'll talk Bulldog Cross Country with head coach Steve Pacucci. Stay with us. <laughs>